So now we're going to move down with the super joints mobility work to the lower half of the body. So we're going to pick up kind of where we left off with the upper half, moving down to the pelvis. First thing we're going to do is we call the belly dancer. So just pinch your pelvis, unlock your knees, and you're going to want to circle your pelvis underneath you. Notice how hopefully my chest and shoulders aren't teeter tottering around, it's just the pelvis in that circle. Never too extreme, we're not jutting it anywhere, it's smooth. And then five one way, and reverse for five the other way. I'm good at it, I know. Next, we're going to go for the hula hoop. So a little wider stance if you need it, if not, it's fine. Stiffer legs. This time the upper body is going to move a little. You can have your hands here again as well. And it's bigger circles. So it's not just the pelvis this time. Big hula hooping like circles. And you go five one direction, five the other. Right. Now moving down to the knees. Feet are going to be parallel underneath your hips. Fold over. Pinch your kneecaps. You're not resting down on your knees. You're pinching here. There's a little weight down into your legs. And what we're going to do is go for little circles. Little enough that it doesn't pull your feet off the ground. If they're too big and they pull your feet off the ground, they're too big. So don't go that big. Little circles. Notice the whole body's kind of moving here. In the reverse, five the other way. And then stand on back up. Moving down to the ankle. If you need something to support yourself, hold on to something. If you don't, great. Pick one foot up, rotate through the ankle five times one direction, five times the other direction. And then flex the foot five times each direction, back and forth. Switch legs five times one direction. Five times the other direction. Five times flexing both up and down. All right. Now, from here, we're going to go into a deep squat. What's a deep squat for you? Whatever you can get to without pain. Um, if you can get to rock bottom, great. Uh, if you got to work your way down, that's fine. If it's just to about here, that's fine. The goal is to eventually or think about going as deep as possible to the bottom. So toes are slightly turned out if you need it. Um, kind of squeeze your glutes and if your toes want to turn out, let them turn out. Don't need a huge wide stance on this. We need our arms to kind of counterbalance. We don't want to be too slow, but you don't want to go out of control either. So we're just going to sink down and up. Spine's going to flex a little bit. That's okay. There's no load on it, so we're all right with that. So down and up. Down and up. Down, up. Five of these. Right. Now, last but not least, we do a simple toe touch. Could be a knee touch, could be a shin touch, could be a top of your ankle touch, wherever you can go, again, without pain, without having to fly down there. Toe touches have gotten a bad name, but it's good for stretching out the back, back side of your body. So, knees can be unlocked in this one, not going to be picky. Knees can lock if you're okay with it. Fold over, touch your toes, stay back up. Your back is going to round. As long as you're not whipping down there or loaded, we're okay with that. So, five reps there. That's your lower half of the body, super joint mobility warm up. 